My bitter wife canceled her stepdaughter's baby shower without our knowledge. I lost it and called her a vindictive beach. I met Lily two years after my first wife, Susan, died with whom I have two daughters. Lily has been a great stepmother to my girls over the years. She has been very hands-on with everything like helping them with school or hobbies and having celebrations planned months in advance. Lily also used to be really involved in helping keep Susan's memory alive and accepted her place in the girls' lives. But after she got pregnant with Tom, she started to push her role as mom onto the girls, which caused many fights between Susan's family and me. She also stopped celebrating Susan on Mother's Day and Christmas, and even refused to attend what would have been Susan's 40th birthday at my in-law's house. However, my oldest daughter got pregnant four months ago, and the father isn't in the picture, so Lily has been doing everything to help and plan for the baby. I thought their relationship was becoming stronger because she even had Lily plan her gender reveal and baby shower. But two weeks ago, my ex-mother-in-law came to visit. They were having a conversation and mother-in-law brought up how hard it must be for my daughter to be alone in this without her mom, especially during her first pregnancy, and it breaks her heart that she had to grow up without a mother. Lily then smashed a plate on the ground which shocked everyone into silence and said, What about me? I've been there every step of the way. Me, not you. Me. She has a mother who takes great care of her. My daughter screamed at Lily to not speak to her grandmother like that. And she wasn't their mom, just their dad's wife, so she needed to stay in her lane. She said that she wished it was Lily dead instead of her mom, and she was sick of pretending to like her, so she could stop trying to pretend she was their mom. Lily said, Okay, fair enough, I'll stop playing mom from now on. I'll just focus on the kids I gave birth to. Lily left the house for a few hours when she came home. She just checked on the boys who were in bed and went to sleep, ignoring me. We had a conversation the next morning, and I suggested family counseling so that everyone apologizes for the hurtful things they said to each other. She said there was no need and she was making breakfast and asked me to wake up her kids. When I got the boys ready and woke up the girls, we went down for breakfast. I noticed Lily hadn't made any breakfast for my daughters. She then sat down and started talking to me about how she was going grocery shopping later. She asked me if I needed anything and then said no when the girls told her what they needed. It's been like this for two weeks and she won't do anything for the girls or even speak to them unless she has to. She treats them like roommates. I've tried to speak to her about it multiple times and tried to have a family discussion about what happened because the girls are extremely sorry, but Lily will simply say she gave them the relationship they asked for. Today was meant to be the gender reveal, but Lily canceled everything she planned and failed to mention it until my daughter asked her two days ago so I couldn't plan a decent party in time. Lily didn't even attend. She went to see her parents, which really hurt my daughter. I was so angry at Lily, so the minute she came home, I lost it at her. I called her a vindictive beach and that I'm sick of her acting like a child and that she was 42 years old playing mind games with teenagers and if she kept it up, we'd be getting a divorce. She raised her eyebrows took off her wedding ring, packed a bag, and then left with our sons. I've tried to call her, but she won't answer. Both my girls haven't left their room crying blaming themselves for what happened, 